Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam, and today I'm going to be talking about how you guys can obtain free Steam keys. Now, this mainly is for uh, content creators or anyone aspiring to be a content creator. But it is very, it's as simple as it sounds. You, you know, you go onto these websites, you request uh, to obtain a key, um... And some of the websites are a little bit more complicated, but the last one that I'm going to talk about is my personal favorite. Personally, I feel like it's the easiest one to use. It's the most likely to, you know, actually grant you a Steam key. And there's no um, requirements or anything like that. Because when you're a small YouTuber like me, only 164 subscribers, you're very limited by... Because some of these websites do have a subscriber uh, requirement and a or like and or a um, um, a watch hour requirement. So when you're you know a small YouTuber and you're looking for games, it can the price of some of these games can definitely add up. So receiving free Steam keys and that's actually how I obtained uh, this game. These like three games right here. Nearly Dead, Aether, and Dwarven Realms. Received all of these games from uh, from this lad's website that I'm going to bring up in a second. Uh, so stay tuned and watch until the end of the video. If you guys would like to see what that website is. So now let's get into the first one. So now this one here obviously does have a requirement, as you can see here. So 250 subscribers, which I do not have, as obviously, and a 90-day-old uh, YouTube or Twitch account, as you and 250 uh, followers on Twitch as well. Um, but if we go over to here, you can see like it does have a lot of games, like Ready or Not. He has the newest release for it. Um, Sail Blazers, Rip Out, uh, Big Fat Battle. Oh, you know, there's a lot of different games. GTFO. Things like that, and there's you can see upcoming games as well. Um, it sorts, it tells you like the genre, exploration, puzzle, point and click, things like that. So it is a very, it's a very helpful website, especially if you have like the 250 subscribers. Um, so and you can sort by popular. It's got a you know sort sort by the platform categories. A genre, things like that. There's, you know, hundred. There's over 180 different ways of sorting through, like, or 80, 80, 180 different genres that you can sort through. So, if you want to look at early access game, early access games that have atmos or that are atmospheric, or and also have online co-op, co-op things like that. So, it is a very helpful and very easy to use website. Now. The only thing that I would say that really sucks is the requirement. So, you know, as I, as I said before, 250 subscribers is what you need with a 90-day-old, um, at least 90-day-old YouTube account. Now let's move on to the next one, Woovit. Uh, Woovit um, does have a requirement, and I will talk about that in a second. But now, let's go through. Let's see. Okay, so it has, you know, it has all these different game titles. You can check the more info. You can, oh, I want this offer or whatever. It gives you a description of the game, all thing, all the things like that. You can see there's a you know different pages, as you can see here. It tells you like what games are available, what games are coming soon. Um, and you, gotta, you can kind of just go down the list. It gives you a very long list of. It tells you like what platforms they're available on. Um, I'm fairly certain you could probably sort by platform. If I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, you can sort by platform. So if you want to look for like uh, games by Blizzard Battle .net, uh, .net, Or if they're on Android or Discord. That's or I guess maybe if the game has a Discord or whatever. Uh, Nintendo Switch. And you can sort by region. And it, it, it's pretty crazy. Um, now I wish there was a way to sort by jo uh, genre. It also it looks like this one kind of lacks that um lacks that it lacks that search feature which kind of sucks but you know it, it's still it's still a website that I would recommend but obviously like I said it does have a requirement and it's a pretty hefty requirement especially if you're just starting out 
So 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 uh, watch hours. So now obviously, you know, that's what you need to become fully monetized on YouTube. So if you're not fully monetized on YouTube yet, then you're obviously not going to be able to uh, do anything with this, with this website yet either. Um, you can also do it through Twitch. So it does have a way of, you know, you... I don't know what the requirement is for Twitch. I don't do Twitch. But, you know, if someone in the comments wants to uh, talk about or say what the requirement is for Twitch, then you guys are more than welcome to. Just to kind of give some more information for anyone who's doing Twitch. Because, like I said, I don't have the information. I don't do Twitch. Um, but yeah, it's a pre it seems like a pretty nice website, other than the requirements, which really sucks, but that's about it. Honestly, like, everything else, you know, if you're looking for a website, and you're going through the other ones, and you're realizing, hey, th this, those ones don't have the game I want, if you have over a thousand subscribers, you could go to this one and see if this one has, uh, what you want, too. Um, then we'll move on to Terminals.io. Now this one, obviously, you can see here. There's you know, there's a lot of games that you can go through, request, and gives you um, like the developer and the publisher of the game. Um, I wish it was a bit more. Um, what's the word? More transparent about what type of game it is. So, like, a roguelike, or an action, an adventure, whatever the game is. I wish it would tell you what genre the game, uh, like, the game is. Um, but, and it doesn't really have a way, it does have a browse feature, but it doesn't really tell you, it, this doesn't tell you, like, it, you can't sort by genre here either. So, it may take a little bit longer for you, especially if you're going just kind of going down the list. It may be a little bit harder to find a game that you want, especially when you can't search by genre. Um, but, you know, it's still going to be a website where it's going to be nice to just have a, uh, have another website, have a backup just in case, you know, you know, the other ones don't work out for you. Then you could go here and... It's a little bit, it might take a little bit more time to find the game you want, but it's still going to be another reliable source of obtaining free Steam keys. Now, this one does have a verification process that you have to go through. Um, as you can see, um, I'm kind of waiting on my approval. And that actually brings me into the next one, because it also has a verification process. So, this one, I haven't really... I don't really know much about, other than I haven't been able to even access the games yet to see what titles are available to me, because I'm kind of blocked by this verification process. But, once I do get verified, I can talk about, I can kind of go in and talk about, like, what how well this website works. I can give an update, basically, um, on how, I'm, how much I like this website. And it actually, something that none of the other websites I have, other than maybe the last one, the last one I haven't really seen anything like it, but... Um, I'll have to kind of look through and see if I can find anything like similar to this on the last website. But this one actually has a coverage rating. So, the developers of games, uh, can actually give, or publishers, uh, I believe it's publishers or developers, or maybe it's the website itself, I have no idea. But you can actually receive a rating for your coverage of a specific type of game. Um... So if you, you know, if you get a key for C City Skylines and uh, you create a video about it, then it'll give you a rating on how well you, uh, how well they think that your coverage of the game did. Uh, I feel like this would actually be very helpful. Because, um, I mean, if you get a low rating, you might think, oh, like this, that sucks. Like, you know, it, it really sucks that I got a low rating. But at the same time, you could... You know, on the other hand, you could use it as a way of improving your video coverage and improving on how how your video quality and things you do in your video to kind of to boost that rating. So don't let a you know don't let a low rating or low score like you know push you away from using this website or push you away from making coverage on games or whatever the case may be. Just kind of use it as a as a learning curve to. Um, 
or a, a way of learning from your uh, from your videos and from this rating on how you can improve and how you can do better with your coverage. So, like I said, I am blocked, so go through these titles. It'll say your profile is waiting for verification. But obviously, there's. it seems like it has a nice little, like, um, nice little, like, Sort uh, sorting way that you can go through and see assigned keys, requested keys, unretrieved keys, things like that. So th I feel like this would also be a pretty nice website. Um, it's not the you know it's not the best one to look at in terms of like color scheme and things like that. It's not as you know vibrant, I guess that you could say, as the other websites. But I still feel like this is another one that could be very helpful for a lot of like smaller YouTubers. Because there's no, there's none of that requirement. There's just a verification process. Now that that brings me to the next one, which, like I said, is my favorite one. Because you can go here, you can go to the search option. Um, it, you know, you can search by genre. You can search by if it has virtual reality. You can search by availability. You can search by publisher, for developer, platform type. You know, every search like feature that you could even want in on uh to search for a game it has it has that search uh function so it has a discover page you can go here and kind of look at what's trending um what's coming soon recent release recently released you can get notification you can ask for it to notify you whenever a game is available to be requested um or you get and I'll I'll go through what keys I even have so there have no, been none that have offered been offered to me so you can actually be if a if a publisher wants to reach out to you or a developer or whatever wants to reach out to you about one of their games they think that you would be a good fit for the game for their game and creating coverage on their game then they can reach out to you and offer you a key for it now these are keys that I've redeemed already. So Striving for Light is my newest one that I haven't published a video on. I've recorded it. I just haven't posted it yet. I do plan on posting it soon. Um, but as you can see, like uh, you can uh, here. I'll go over to like a random game. Uh, let's go over to the browse um, page and let's just look at the first game here. Raw Rally Alley Alley. Whatever the I don't. I have no idea what this is. But if we hit request on it, we hit request that here. Um, and some of these will even have things like, "Do you want an audience giveaway? Do you want to, you know, do you want to give key giveaway keys to your audience? You can do that. Uh, will you create coverage? It has this little like, uh, you know, uh, form that you can fill out, and it's very very easy. It is very easy. You can favorite a game. You can get a press kit. So you can receive images and words for media. You know, I assume it's referring to like thumbnails. If you want to wave, like if you want pictures to use in your thumbnails that are directly from the game, you can do that. You know, it's such a, and then the, not in, on top of all of that, it, you can receive affiliate links and sponsorship offers directly from this website. So, it'll tell you, like, there's there will be an affiliate, like, you know, tag that for, for certain games. And they will give you affiliate links that you can put in, your, um, put in your description. And then you can receive money for when people buy the game or whatever the case may be. And then you can receive sponsor, uh, sponsorship offers as well. Uh, you just have to put in, like, your PayPal or whatever the case is. I, I don't remember exactly what it is. But I knew, I knew, yeah, I do know you can, um do it through PayPal. But, you know, obviously what I'm mainly using this for is for um, for the Steam keys. And it's so, so easy. It's so easy. Like, there, it'll show you the coverage. You can go through here. Coverage from keys. Uh, match keys. So, obviously, you have, like, this one. I haven't covered it yet, but I will eventually. Dwarven Realms, Aether, Dear Dead. I've covered those three. So, it's just a very... And then you can do it through Twitch. Facebook gaming, press content, TikTok. Like, there's uh, so many different ways. It's actually, it's, this is why, like, this is my favorite website, and this is the one that I highly, I, I rate this one the highest. Like, per, I just feel like this is the easiest one. It's the simplest one. It's the best one to use. The other ones might have games that this one doesn't, but when you have a, but when you're a small YouTube channel, 
Um, I I feel like this one is just going to be the best one, the go-to one to use. Like, until maybe you get to be bigger, then you can kind of check out some of the other ones, especially like Woovit and Lurkit. You can check out those. Since they do have a requirement, you have to wait until you're a little bit bigger. But you can check out those, kind of compare them. But I, for me personally, from my experience, this one is hands down the best website to use for obtaining free Steam keys. Now, I know this video is a little bit different from what you guys may be used to, but my videos are meant to entertain. And my main goal for my YouTube channel is just to help out as many people as possible. So, um, so I hope this video is helpful. Um, it's not a gaming video, obviously, but I do want to help out as many people as I possibly can, especially smaller YouTubers or anyone aspiring to do YouTube or Twitch or whatever the case may be, just content creators in general. I hope this video helps you guys out. So yeah, my name's Sam. I hope to see you guys in the next video, or if you guys stick around or whatever, stick around, check out some of the videos on my channel, and yeah, see you guys in the next one. Take care.